Hello and welcome, we are Chad and Claire, and we decided that this year we will be traveling around the U.S. in a custom van that we built out. And today, on this lovely evening, we've decided to show you our capsule wardrobes for full-time travel in a tiny van. So earlier this year, we decided to sell 85% of our wardrobes, and yes, that is a lot. And you're probably wondering, why did we do that? And we actually did it for two reasons. So first of all, yes, yeah, selling your clothes does make you a little bit of pocket money. And so we got to keep that and use it for our travels. And so that was really great. And then second of all, we realized that we didn't wear most of our clothes that we owned. A lot of them weren't comfortable. A lot of them weren't even our style. And we just had it around for quite a long time. And so getting rid of that kind of freed us to finally figure out what we actually found comfortable and what we found confidence in wearing. So when you think about people getting rid of a lot of their stuff, you probably start to think about minimalism. I definitely did whenever we started doing that. And I realized that we've kind of become minimalists in a way because we had to get rid of all of our stuff in order to fit it in this van. But our approach with minimalism is a little bit different because we don't stick with white and neutrals. We kind of choose whatever we like and that's what ends up in our little wardrobe. And now that leads us to the capsule wardrobe, this fun little buzzword that's been going around the last couple of years. Basically, what is a capsule wardrobe? It's usually around 30 to 40 items that are usually in the same color palette, making it very easy to mix and match and interchange into a multitude of different outfits. And so that is definitely what we try to do when we're traveling in the van. We want to still jazz it up with different outfits, but still keep it very comfortable and true to our style. And so let's hop right in. All right, so let's begin. All of my clothes that you see here fit in this custom cardboard box that I cut out in order to slide so that it doesn't hit the support. And it also goes in this little packing cube. So this slides underneath the bed and I get the right side. And for all of my clothes, I have five pairs of shorts, five pairs of pants, that includes the one I'm wearing. I have 12 pairs of socks, including the one I'm wearing. One big fluffy sweater, one pair of swim shorts, as well as I can also wear this pair as a pair of swim shorts if I needed to. I have eight pairs of underwear, including the one I'm wearing. I have two bandanas, which I like to dip in water and put around my head in case it's really hot outside. And I also will use them as plates in case I ever make sandwiches. It's just really easy. You can shake all the crumbs away. And then I have three hats, two winter hats, and then this cap that you probably see a lot. I have one down puffy jacket, which we got from Uniqlo. And then I also have a small lightweight jacket that's also from Uniqlo. I have my brand new rain jacket, which I kind of went out there. I don't normally get yellow. I think I was inspired by Claire. I have three long sleeve shirts, this green one, this brown one, and this yellow one. And then I have my trusty belt, which I can only wear with my one pair of gray long pants. Yes, I don't really know if I need the belt, but I still bring it. I guess it's a habit. Then I have my new pair of sunglasses, which I'm super excited about. That was like $8, I think. I have six collared shirts as well, seven actually, including this vest that I'm wearing. And then I have 12 t-shirts, seven of them are blank, they don't have any design on them, and then two of them are athletic shirts, and then I think I have some sleep shirts as well. And then last but not least, very vital, are my shoes. So I have my Allbirds, which I wear pretty much all the time, and I have my hiking boots for any time it's muddy outside, I like to wear those, and obviously on hikes. Then I have my Chacos, which are great for water hikes and hiking through rocky creeks that we sometimes do. And then I have my flip-flops, which are great for the beach and just for wearing inside the van whenever I'm walking to the back to wash dishes and then walking back, just back and forth and in and out of the van. So that is all of my capsule wardrobe, and now to Claire. All right, and we are now onto my wardrobe. So all of these clothes fit straight into these bins right over here. I've got a nice plastic one that holds most of it. And it also holds this packing cube that holds all my underwear and socks. And then this little cube holds all my bottoms. And so both of these slide perfectly onto the left side of the pull out bed. And so all of that's stored down there. So I'm gonna start from over here and go all the way around and tell you what I have in my wardrobe. Starting back here, I've got a swimsuit top as well as two swimsuit bottoms. I've got two scarves, one for the summertime and one for the winter time. And then all of these are pants. I've got nine of them plus the ones I'm wearing right now. Three leggings, of course, really great for hiking. I've got one nice long skirt in case I'm feeling like a prairie princess one day. Over here, I've got eight pairs of underwear, six bras, including the one I'm wearing right now, 
and then I've got a couple of hair accessories and so I've got one scrunchie and then one hair ribbon if I'm feeling funky of course, sunny is very important when you're driving around in the car. I've got all my spaghetti straps up here. I've got six of those. And then over here, I've got my long sleeves. I've got five, including the one I'm wearing right now. And then some nice chunky sweaters for the cold winter days. I've got five of those. Three pairs of shorts, a pair of gloves, a nice little beanie hat that I wear on really cold nights and my head is freezing. I've got a nice little lightweight jacket and then Raincoat, very necessary. As you've seen, we're always getting caught in the rain for some reason, so that's much needed. A puffer jacket for chilly days, a nice cardigan. Um, that's a really beautiful burnt orange, love that one. And then all my socks right over here. I've got nine pairs of those. My t-shirts, I've got six of those. Oh wait, seven, including the one I'm wearing right now. And then my dresses. So I've got two fun dresses for any fun events we might go to. And I've got two basics that are just really good for layering. You can put a sweater over it or just a t-shirt. And then shoes. We actually share a shoe bin, which is this guy right here. And this goes in the back of the pullout bed. And so this holds both my shoes and Chad's shoes. So I've got four pairs. These are my Allbirds and they used to be my hiking shoes until I realized there is no grip on the bottom. And so I got actual hiking shoes. And so now my Allbirds are just like my city shoes. So hiking shoes, haven't worn them yet, but they look really comfortable and hopefully I won't slip as much. And then my everyday shoes are my Burks, my favorite. I love them. You can slide them on when you go in the van, slide them off very easily. And then of course, some Tevas for any water outdoor activities that we might be doing. And so just like that, that is my capsule wardrobe. As we were picking and choosing which items of clothing we want to keep in our wardrobe, we kind of started to figure out that trend and style was not top on our list. It was actually practicality and comfort. And so prior to moving into the van, we actually stuck with this tiny little wardrobe to see how we liked it and what was actually comfortable and what we actually enjoyed wearing. Surprisingly enough, a lot of the items that I thought I'd wear a lot were removed very quickly because I only like them for the look of it. We've realized that while you're traveling, your clothing really does affect if you're gonna have a good time or a bad time. If you forget something essential, like a raincoat, or a puffer jacket, that may ruin your experience when it's really cold and rainy outside. And then also, if you brought something that you just don't really feel confident in, for our case, we don't feel very confident even filming in what we're wearing. And so that plays a really big role in the videos that we put out there and how happy we are doing that and how comfortable, of course, we also are filming and traveling at the same time. So we are now gonna show you a couple of outfits that we've put together and that we've worn while traveling in the van. Start writing our own history Let's take this road Oh, this winding, winding road Let's just take the long way home Nothing but sunshine, sunshine and happiness. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed stepping into our closets for a day, but thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions regarding our wardrobes, do leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Until then, we will catch you in the next one. Bye bye. For a long, long time. You've got me running in circles. Spinning, spinning, spinning Just keep going around, going around You've got me running in circles I can't keep both feet on the ground Let's just keep spinning, spinning
Just call it.